Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. This is the Sagittarian Goddess, and I will be doing your reading today. I hope wherever you are in the world, you are prosperous and you are having a wonderful day. First, I'm going to tap into your past energy, your current energy, and your energy going forward. And then I will clarify that energy for you, Scorpio. In the past, Scorpio, you have stability here. You have stability in the past. That could have been your focus in the past. Stability. You can have really put a lot of weight on stability. Your emotions, Scorpio, could have been very unstable here in the past. Wealth. Your current energy is wealth. Most definitely. You could be working really hard towards your stability. You could be working every single day. Trying to achieve your goals. And become stable. Not only in the physical, but also in your emotions here. You could be sharing this stability with someone, I feel. Truce going forward. You have forgiven a lot of things. You have forgiven yourself for a lot. You have made a lot of mistakes in the past regarding your stability, your emotional stability, I'm getting. Maybe you stayed in a romantic connection for way, way too long, I'm getting. Just way too long. Way past the expiration date, I'm hearing. The high priestess. Yeah, you stayed in something way too long that you thought that you thought was stable because in the past here you have the high priestess. So you definitely knew your worth here, but you still you still stayed in this connection for far too long. And it interfered with fear with your emotional stability. You could have had signs that this that this connection was not right for you. That it did not match your energy. And you were absolutely right because you are sitting in wealth now. It looks like you have moved forward past this situation. It looks like you have moved forward. Thank you, Spirit. The shadow. Yeah, it looks like you have definitely moved forward past this situation. You have discovered your worth wholeheartedly. You're not going to settle. You're not going to settle for what could be or what looks like something that it isn't. Like it was here in the past. Someone presented themselves as something stable. Someone said that they could provide you with a stable love connection. And they definitely did not. They definitely did not. They were operating from a very low vibration here. And you realize this in your current energy. Four of truths for Scorpio. Three of feathers. You have definitely set yourself free from something. You have called it a truce and you have forgiven this person for manipulating you, I'm getting. Because in the past here, you have the high priestess sitting here thinking they have stability. And the whole time you did not have stability. Maybe this person had material things. Maybe they had a nice home, a nice car, a nice stable job. But they provided you with emotional instability. They manipulated you into thinking that you could stay in this energy with them. But they did not match this energy. And you had to move forward and continue to push through. Because you do have the shadow here in your current energy with wealth. So you are working hard. You are working on not only yourself and your physical, but your emotions here. You're working on yourself. You realize that there were some mistakes that you made. Even though you were sitting in this high priestess energy, you are still having a human experience. And you realize there were some mistakes that you made. And you're sitting thinking about that as you build your wealth here. Going forward, you have forgiven the situation and you have set yourself free from this situation. You could be dealing with the Libra Aquarius Gemini here. Work. 
Yeah, you could have put in a whole lot of work trying to, you, you could have been just ignoring those red flags, Scorpio, to be our honest. You could have just been put in a lot of work towards this connection, connection, trying to make it work over and over again. I'm getting three times here, three or four times. You could have tried to make this work with this person and they were operating from their shadow side. They did not want to see their shadow side and the damage they was causing to this connection. And you have to pack up your high priestess energy and move forward because it was draining you. You were oper beginning to operate from a low vibration, being connected to this energy, I feel. The Ten of Wealth and the Shadow for Scorpio. <clears throat> the Ace of Earth. Yeah, you're definitely focused on your stability here. Someone didn't provide that for you. You could be working hard in the physical to combat this emotional instability that you went through. You could be connected to an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. You could be dating an earth sign. You could have dealt with, with certain people in the past here that, that weren't stable. You could have met someone. You could be working on your own. You could have met someone who is balancing out your emotions here with stability. Providing you wealth. Four of truths and three of feathers for Scorpio. Four of feathers and four of truths and three of feathers for Scorpio. Strength. Stronger than ever. You're stronger than ever before. Stronger than ever before. It's almost like enough said here. Like what more what more needs to be said? You are sitting in your power, Scorpio, going forward. In your current energy, you are sitting and you are observing things. You are observing the world around you. You are realizing what serves you and what does not. You are not settling. For this shadow energy, you have discovered your shadow and you are looking to free yourself. You are looking for better. You are looking for a genuine partnership here. And it looks like you will have someone going forward who levels you out, who stabilizes, who stabilizes your emotions. Who isn't who isn't emotionally unstable. Because it looks like you're working hard. You need someone who's emotionally stable so that you can obtain this wealth. So you can have this sense of freedom and a connection. You could definitely be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here going forward. I'll pull some self-care for you, Scorpio. Beautiful reading. This is the Sagittarian goddess. The high priestess here in the past. Beautiful Scorpio. You are doing some work. Go for a walk. Some of you could be homebodies. You could just leave work and go home and just be at home. Not getting no fresh air. The only fresh air you get is on your way to work. And on your way back so it may be good for you to get out in nature and go for a walk let the let the outside air hit you stop just letting that living room air hit you and that bedroom air hit you let that outside air hit you hit your skin breathe it in go for a walk look at nature look at the insects look at the trees here get some rest you definitely could be overworking yourself here with all of this earth energy, all of this stability. You could be working a lot with wealth. You could be physically putting in a lot of work and communicate your needs. You definitely could be going forward with the Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini here. Or someone with, <laughs> with that in their chart. You could be wanting to tell someone how you feel going forward. Pull a card for your love. Not a lot of love is coming out in the readings today. But hey. <laughs> Romantic feelings. Yeah, you could have definitely met someone here that is 
is really smoothing things over with you and like creating this balance with you, with your personality, with your lifestyle. Pull some astrological aspects of your reading, Scorpio. Mars. You could be dealing with the fire sign. You definitely are putting in a lot of action here. Mars is ruled by Sagittarius and Aries. You could be putting in a lot of action going forward. Aquarius. Most definitely. You could be dealing with an air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra going forward. And you could be communicating a lot with this person. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for tuning in to this beautiful, beautiful reading. I'm so happy that you decided to move past this situation and you realize your worth and you realize what you deserve going forward. You realize that you needed to set yourself free from this connection that was not serving you, that was not bringing you any type of joy, any type of stability. So you move forward and I am so proud of you, Scorpio, for doing that. That takes a lot of bravery and strength here. So Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed this reading. This is the Sagittarian Goddess and I will see you all in the next reading.